Okay, the coach, um, a good start in the first half. Um, second half, things change. Um, how do you look back at this game? Yeah, look, I also thought we, we started well. Uh, I think the first 60 minutes uh, we were good. Uh, we stuck to the game plan and uh, we had a few chances on transition. Uh, there's a ball where we took from the, one of the centre backs and we were a three versus two. And the final pass was not good. Uh, and I mean, we take that chance, then the game becomes yours a little bit. And then once in the second half, uh, after 15 minutes, uh, we start to make mistakes, we start to have a lot of turnovers in our half and with the quality of the players on the pitch, uh, they punish us. And then once the score is 1-0, uh, you have to chase the game now because Pirates is very good on transition and on the pitch they've got Lodge, they've got uh, Saleng, they've got Vincent Pule, uh, they'll let you on transition. So uh, we made that mistake, you can't allow this team to score the first goal. Coach, you scored, you, 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 of course you didn't score, but I mean, the biggest dream for you would have been to play against a capable team like Pirates. What have you learned from this game and how far do you think it will take your boys to get your league situation? Um, I thought it was a very good test for us uh, to see how far we are as a team. Um, as you know, the team is still new. We were to build a team from scratch this season and I don't think we are too far off, you know, but uh, the lesson that we take from this game is when you get chances, even if it's a half chance against a quality opposition, you have to use it. And, uh, and then once you make silly mistakes in your half, they will punish you. So we have to learn that some of the mistakes that we made today and they scored, probably in our league you can get away with it in some games, but against quality oppositions like Pirates, they will punish you. So those are the lessons that we have to take from the game. But I also thought uh, we could have been a little bit more brave in possession. There was times where we, we sort of gave up a little bit. You know, there was, we didn't want to press anymore. We went to sort of damage control. And I don't like that. I want my team to, uh, to express themselves on the pitch and never give up and keep trying and trying and trying. So that's a little bit of a disappointment for me. But we'll, we'll watch the game over and do corrections tomorrow. And your coach, I just want to speak about the side. I mean, uh, he already looks like a very experienced player, still young. Uh, do you see him, you know, staying here beyond the season? Because I mean, uh, the experience that he's showing at such a young age, I think it's something that you should be very proud of, as well as his passing. You know, the the orientation is just a beautiful footballer. Yeah, look, uh, Usesane, we have to be very careful with him because uh, he's a young boy um, and he'll make mistakes and you know and all that. But. Uh, He's, uh, he's been doing well, uh, he's, he's growing each and every game um, because he's humble, uh, he watches his games over and he tries to improve all the time. So we are helping him and uh, with him staying beyond this season, it will have to be between Pirates and, and All-Stars at the end of the season. Of course, we would like to keep him if there's a possibility, but if they feel that they need him, then there's nothing that we can do. But he's one of the players that we are very proud of and he's doing very well at the moment. Him and Batman, they've been amazing for us at, uh, at centre-back. Loach, I mean, you have such a good first half and then you see uh, Loach and Pule come into the pitch as a coach. What, what are you thinking at that point? Look, uh, the game belongs to the players. They make uh, the decisions on the pitch, you know, and obviously the quality of the players decides the game. So, you know, it's a little bit difficult because uh, the first team that starts is a very good team and then they've got a bench that comes on and they're still very good. So, but we have to deal with that. Uh, and if you want to step up and come to this level, that's what you're going to expect every game when you play against Sundowns, you play against Chiefs. So that's the level that we want to go to. So we have to prepare ourselves for that level. But coach, again, what does this game do and the performance coach uh, going back to um, the second round now in terms of stimulating the team for uh, a promotion path? Um, we'll, we'll take the positives, of course, we'll look at all the positives, we, we did create chances, we, we did contain them, the, the defensive shape was very good because it's not easy to deal with uh, Saleng and Horto, a lot of teams they struggle to deal with them, so we'll take those positives and, and obviously the hour league is different uh, compared to, uh, to the PSL, but we'll take the positives, uh, which is there was a, very, a few very good performances from us, so we'll do that and uh, we'll try to win more matches and more matches and try to fight for promotion. Looking at this match, coach, I'm sure definitely other teams from the PSL have spotted a few of your players, um, which is a which is a given. I mean, me sitting at the stand with my colleagues, I've spotted a few that I've never known of. Um, I, how, how ready are you for that? Because the window is coming. I mean, mid year. No, it always happens when when you are doing well. Uh, of course, people will come, and uh, there must be negotiations between the the clubs that want the players. Uh, the worst thing is to distract the players now because uh, 
we've had a few issues where it goes a little bit beyond uh, it goes to a little bit of disrespect now they start to speak to players direct you know but of course if you're doing well um, the club will let the players go even last season you look at the team that went to the playoffs uh, there was a lot of good players there for us and half of them went to the PSL so we are well aware that uh, the more well we do is the more that we we'll lose our players and then just last to push um, going back to the game the impact of Lodge <laughs> now I'm just talking to you not uh, just as, a, as an All-Stars coach but, um, but as, a, as, a, as a football coach and, and someone that we consider to be an asset uh, and, and how much of this disrupted your game plan in the second yeah, look, we were not sure how ready he was to play um, and of course uh, a lodge that's on the pitch is good for South African football and you can see the quality, uh, the movement in between the lines, uh, how he turns and then he provokes the, the defenders to come at him and the decision making, uh, I mean, is a, is a fantastic player, that's why he, the fans love him so much at Pirates and that's why the country is crying, why is he not playing so that he can help the national team, so to face players like that, it will only help our players. No, he's not yet ready. Keletso has been with us for 10 days now um, and he hasn't been playing, so we have to be a little bit patient with him. But we are happy with some of the things that he's doing and of course he has to adapt to how the team plays. Um, we also got promise, we also came at the same time, so we're trying to integrate them to the team. And uh, But soon they will be starting matches and we'll get the best out of them.